Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32L4 Embedded Operational Amplifier. It covers the features of this IP, which is widely used for conditioning analog signals. Each operational amplifier inside STM32L4 products functions as a general-purpose analog amplifier, which may reduce the need for an external standalone op-amp. As these op-amps can be configured in standalone mode with all terminals available for the user, it is possible to use them as a voltage follower, non-inverting and inverting amplifiers, as well as analog filters such as low or high-pass filters. They can also act as a pre-amplifier for the ADC input. The operational amplifier inside STM32L4 products offers general-purpose rail-to-rail inputs and outputs. The input offset voltage can be calibrated in the application to achieve minimal offset. All the terminals are accessible by the user so that any operational amplifier function can be configured with external passive components. For low power applications which do not need high bandwidth, a low power mode is available which only consumes 45 microamps from VDDA. For current sense applications, a dedicated low leakage input pad is available on the BGA132 package. The op amps also provide on chip functions, including voltage follower mode, while their on die feedback resistance can be used for the programmable gain amplifier function. This slide shows the block diagram of the operational amplifiers. The STM32L4 integrates two operational amplifiers. Several switches are used to configure different functions. Each op-amp can be configured differently. The operational amplifier can be configured as an internal voltage follower, where the internal switch connects the output to the inverting input. In internal voltage follower mode, the GPIO pad assigned to the op-amp's inverting input is free, so that it may be used with a different function as subsequently assigned in the GPIO selection process. This STM32L4's op-amps support non-inverting amplifier mode with four fixed gains available. The feedback resistors can be selected to have a gain of 2, 4, 8, or 16 to support the programmable gain amplifier function. It may also be beneficial to use the op-amp as an ADC input so that the full dynamic range of the analog-to-digital converter can be applied to signals having a small amplitude. The op-amps also support external connections on outputs and the non-inverting input to create the PGA mode. It enables the connection of an external capacitor to add low-pass filter characteristics to the PGA configuration. The op-amps have a very low leakage inverting input pin to support the current sensing application. The dedicated pads are only available on the BGA-132 and BGA-169 packages and have one nanoamp leakage which allows for a current to voltage conversion with high precision. The operational amplifiers are active in the following low power modes. Run, sleep, low power run, low power sleep, stop zero, and stop one modes. In stop two mode, the op amp is not available, but its register's content is kept. In standby or shutdown modes, the op amp is powered down and must be reinitialized for use if returning to one of the higher powered modes. The following table shows performance parameters for the STM32L4's op amp. The op amp can work from 1.8 to 3.6 volts from the VDDA supply with rail to rail input and output. The offset voltage can be calibrated down to 1.5 millivolts. It has normal and low power operating modes. Normal mode can have a gain bandwidth of 1.6 MHz, while low power mode only has 0.42 MHz of gain bandwidth, but comes with the added benefit of reducing power consumption. Thanks to its fast wake-up time of 10 to 30 microseconds, it is not needed to keep it always enabled, but only when the functionality is necessary. The STM32L4's op-amps are suitable for the pre-amplification of the ADC input because the integrated PGA can enhance the dynamic range of the analog-to-digital converter. It is handy to use as an on-chip voltage follower instead of using an off-chip standalone op-amp. Its low bias current allows it to properly perform as a current-to-voltage converter for the current sensing function. This is a list of peripherals related to the operational amplifiers. Please refer to these peripheral trainings for more information if needed.